Hey guys, so we have an awesome battle here between the Xperia 1, which was a pretty good phone, and the Xperia 1 Mark II, which is my favorite phone on the market. So let's go right to it. Now usually phones don't change them much year to year, but in the case of the 1 Mark II, it's a massive upgrade, and I'll show exactly why in the video. So for the first test boot up, we actually have a band here for the one, but not a big difference for it. Alright guys, now for the specs. Sony phones are the only phones with 4K displays. And the two is smaller bezels. Both phones with one camera on the front. And on the back we have a triple versus quad camera setup with the fourth camera being used for depth and the other three cameras being updated. The One Mark II is more storage. And it also has a larger battery. The One Mark II also has a better chipset and more RAM. Both phones are already existing. Now at the bottom, both phones are Type-C. The One 2 has a headphone jack and wireless charging. And on the back, both are glass. The One is less expensive, but the Two is 5G in some regions. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, let's get into it. First we have Reddit. Slight advantage for the one kill. Spotify. One kill. Now for the basic apps, there's not going to be much of a difference. But for the rest of the video, there will be. Yeah, so YouTube, slight advantage for the uh, Mark II. iFunny. Mark II. Amazon Shopping. Pretty close. And my space gap, we have photos. Now, again, guys, performance is going to differ more. Um, for stuff like the multitasking and the gaming. And definitely battery, uh, the cameras, really most of the other tests. Okay, so PUBG is going to be a pretty easy win here for the Mark II. Temp run. Yeah, more simplistic game, but still advantage for the Mark II. PBZ. This one is an older game, but takes a pretty long time to load. And this one is actually the one. So interesting result there. Real racing. I'm gonna try to rerun that off screen um, and see if that is still the result. But yeah, real racing back to the Mark II. And now for the big one here, Fortnite. All 
All right, guys, so this takes a minute to load. All right, so a nice advantage for two. Now for Geekbench, we'll run this in a few. Time now for Chrome. And as always, we're gonna the web history. All right, so first up, IGN.com. Advantage for one. INDB.com Once again, a narrow advantage here for the one. Sony.com One pill. Microsoft.com One pill. Yahoo.com And again, advance for the 1-2 So overall slight advance for the 1-2 3-2 to two. Limo Recording Studios, Golden Empire Now for the speakers Now both ones are dual speakers. So first you have the one. And Mark II. And my son here. All right, so I do prefer the quality for the two. Hey guys, as always, tell me your preference. Now for battery. So, we'll just run Temple Run. Alright guys, so back in a few. Okay, so more than four hours in. 
Let's go and check in. Yeah, so a big advantage here for the One Mark II. Now, battery was one of the worst things about the One. But fortunately, One Mark II really improved it. Now for the fingerprints. So, both are on the side right here. But for the one two, it's combined with the power. So this is also the power. Well, for the one, it's separate. I'm definitely not a fan of them being separate. Okay, so for the speed. Now the Mark II is a lot more accurate. And it's also a bit quicker. All right, so now for RAM. So back to the start. Yeah, so this is a big difference. Uh, the extra RAM makes definitely does make a difference. Again, a restart for the one. Okay, so let's not go as far back. I mean, so far, of course, big advantage for the 1-2. But let's not go as far back. So let's go into Amazon. So you guys, I mean, we're not even going as far back. But still a big advantage for the 1-2. Going into photos. Yeah, so I mean, like, the, uh, the one is restarting everything so far. Let's do some gaming. So let's do, uh, we'll do PUBG. Yeah, so again guys, a restart for the one. Now I expected to hold some of these. Yeah, so the one holds real racing. But the further back you go, the worse it gets. Let's do PVZ. Restart for the one. Accidentally click too soon there for the one too, but but yeah, another restart for the one. Now for Fortnite. Okay, so both hold it. Now, I know some of you guys are probably wondering about the Smart Queen. So, that closes apps in the background in favor of battery. So, yeah, Smart Queen is not turned on. Alright, so now for Geekbench. Another restart for the one. Yeah, so no surprise, nice advantage here for the Mark II. Now for camera speed. Pretty similar. Now for the front cameras. And the stabilization. Now for the rear cameras. And the stabilization. Now for the wide angles.
We also have the Maxim Zone. Okay, so in my opinion, the two is definitely a lot better than the one. I mean, usually guys for these phones, there's not much of an update year to year. But yeah, for this case, definitely a major upgrade. But yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next video.